Hey guys, it's Bop Master 8. Today, I'm going to show you comparisons between Bop It and Simon games and Mattel and other games that are similar to Bop It and Simon. So first off, I'm going to say that the Top It, which was made by Hasbro in 1998, is similar to a couple games. It is similar to Hypertoss, Hypertoss and Top It both have like, beanbag balls. I made my own for the Top It. And they got cups to put the um, ball in. So, for example, I'll play Top It once. I'm going to do the cheat way to do it. So. Let's play Top It! Top It! Load it! So there I just beat Top It, um, but beside the point, it's similar to Hyper Toss because it's got these cups, and actually this is similar to Bop It, period. Um, this is basically the Moose Toys version of Bop It. So I will show you this. Oh, there's a switch on the back to turn it on, and then push it. You gotta do a couple Three, two, in a one. row. So that's pretty much similar to Top It because it's got cups and it's similar to Bop It because it's got one action after another. It's basically Top It because uh, Top It is a spin-off to Bop It. <clears throat> so there's that. Now I'm going to show you the similarities between Flip Slide, which I think is by Moose, and Bop It Tetris. Now, the Bop It Tetris, I'll, ex I'll demonstrate a little bit. You gotta put the shapes you gotta fit the shapes into this here. It's basically if you played original Tetris, you know you, you know it's kind of like that. So. Bop it, Tetris. Slam it to start. Wow. I'm gonna do this so you can see it. The high score is 332. Tetris drop level. It's kind of hard to do it because the camera is opposite what I'm supposed to do. Opposite the image. So that is similar to Moose's flip slide because you have four colors. So you can twist or switch is what they call it and slide. And so it's kind of the same thing because you got to match the colors. Like if this is blue here, this has got to be blue. Or yeah. If this is blue, this has got to be blue. I'll show you.
So the, here is the green and red, so that I can switch this. Yellow and blue match, and the green matches here. Let's see if I can get a high score on this quick. Ah, never mind. Anyway, that is similar to Bop at Tetris because, well, I mean. You fetch squares and twist shapes. That's about it. Also similar to Bapa Tetris, slightly, is a Hasbro game that came out in 2014. It's called Scrabble Twist. So basically, if you've played Scrabble Flash before, um, you twist, you have to select letters in five-letter words, or words out of five letters and uh, you twist it to uh, submit the word kinda like Scrabble Flash you would have to connect them together to uh, like get them to line up for a match so I'll show ya it's kinda hard to see the screen but it says twist I'm gonna twist it to solo push a button we got I A N P T, but basically it's like it's like Scrabble Flash in a way. Um, it's kind of, I mean, it's basically the same thing. All right, I'll shut this off. The Scrabble Flash is basically tiles, like five separate tiles, and you can like line them up to make a word. So yeah. Also similar to Bop It is a game called Brain Warp. Uh, Scrabble Twister shut down. Um, you turn it so if you can sh if you shake it, there's a ball inside. And that is what tells which one is on the top and which one's on the bottom. It's basically like the ball of a vacuum cleaner. Like if you tip a vacuum cleaner over and there, you hit, hear a ball hitting on the side, that means you got to wait for the ball to drop on the bottom for the vacuum cleaner. Anyways, I'll, I'll uh, show you how Brain Warp works because this is by Tiger Electronics, which came out in the originally came out in 1996, but I think this is a 2002 version. I know I suck at this game. If you don't keep up with me, you're finished. Green. Red. Yellow. Green. Oh. You <laughs> scored at... three points this round. I was looking round at the camera. Two. That's why. Start on green. Orange. Oh. It's red. You Duh. scored zero points this round. You scored three points. I told round you. Three. I told you I suck at this game. Start on red. White. Purple. Green. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Aww. You scored five points this round. You scored eight points. My high is like 25. You scored eight points. Let me shut this down. I think now it's shut down. And I think this might be it. This last one. How Mattel's Loops, which is similar to Simon Air. Now, Simon Air came out in 2016 when the Bop It Refresh came out with like the motion sensors and stuff. So I'm going to set this on the 
set this here. This is called Simon Air. You basically hover over the colors with your hand. I'll show you. Let me turn this down a little bit. See, they all light up. I have classic mode on right now. So that, I'll shut that down in a few minutes. So that is pretty much similar to Loops, which is by Mattel. I think this came out in 2009? Yeah, 2009. I actually remember getting this for Christmas one year. So this is somewhat similar because, there you are. Repeat the beat on loops, you can get t t uh, three lives. And they are similar to each other because they both have motion sensors. See that little black thing right there? Right there. 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 And there. Those are motion sensors that detect your hand. And it's maybe kind of hard to see in the loops, but if I turn this this way, those little dots here, 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 and here, those are also motion sensors. Well, I think that is about it. Um, those are all the different comparisons between Bop It and Simon Games, and I mean similar to Scrabble Flash and Scrabble Twist. Well, that's it for me, I guess. This is Bop and Master 8, and I'm going to sleep. Bye!